Hey guys, so in this video I want to cover a few coins that you should be watching out for uh, for potential trade. Um, I'm not exactly very um, reluctant to make a trade right now but I think there is a possibility for a few trades here so I want to show I want to show you and so you can at least track them you can at least put it on your screen and um, um, you know track it um, and maybe there is a potential for you to make a smaller trade uh, but let's cover them real quick and I will uh, go through them and you know tell you what I think about it what could be the trade here and um, we can go from there all right so first one is monero this one is monero is against uh, usd uh, the data is coming for a bit for uh, so it actually broke out yesterday and now right now it's coming up against the neckline so it's showing this inverse head and shoulder pattern the left shoulder head and the right shoulder and this is the inverse head and shoulder pattern uh, there's a neckline which is dotted blue line so inverse head and shoulder is a very bullish pattern and once it breaks the neckline so the key is you want to make sure that it breaks the neckline and you want to stay over the uh, neckline so I, I I created this uh, neckline in that blue dotted line so you can use that as a gauge so if, if the if the price action is over that neckline that you remain bullish if the price action goes below it you sell it simple as that so you want to have a this neckline as a um, your guide in a sense that you anything over it is bullish anything below is is bearish that's um, strategy number one okay simple and like just clean uh, doesn't not too much you know uh, noise not too much fuss uh, it's just simple all right second strategy is you want to like you know you want to wait for a pullback maybe perhaps um, start adding the position here okay and you you don't put any stop losses you don't put any stop losses until uh, until let's say if it comes down to around 297 levels and you put in the second position so your first position you go in with 50 percent okay and the second position you go in with maybe 20 percent there's plenty of support in that this trend line right here the top one this should now before it was acting as a resistance which we broke now it will act as a support so we want to monitor this trend line so once this comes here there will be plenty of support from the moving average from the from the trend line so there will be a lot of support and monero is one of those coins that it <laughs> in this crypto world you need some coins like Monero which are very like the privacy coins and if you don't have a coin like this you you might want to think about it for your long-term portfolio especially when you have a portfolio that is you know significant in size let's say if you have 50,000 you know or 20,000 30,000 post portfolio you want to have some privacy coin in that all right um, I, I when I was doing uh, when I was doing the the analysis, some of the portfolios I was seeing were like two hundred thousand, but they did not have like any any privacy coin in them. So I mean, you want to have at least some part of your portfolio in privacy coin because there are significant amount of people. There is so much black money in this world. There there is going to be a significant amount of people who will come into. Um, significant amount of people who will come into like you know cryptocurrency just to kind of store their black money or black the you know the the money that they acquired uh from from not paying taxes there's there's plenty of there's a lot of money all the swiss bank account where do you think those money gonna go when when you know the swiss bank have to like start declaring or like opening up those account to um governments when they are requesting them so that lot of that money will come to this privacy coin and monero is like a top contender uh it's it's, it's just a, one of the very strong privacy coin all right um another one that i really want to cover and i really like is uh onion deep onion so deep onion is uh creating this um this base right now and again this coin it is still in very the uh, early stage is they're just doing like you know airdrops right now it's in very early stage it's a very like you know um a very good concept if you want to go look at their like you know website and read their white paper go to their site um come to coincheckup.com 
and you'll see a lot of coin analysis on this um on the site i really like the site you you get the news you get the um, you know overall picture a lot of the the thing that i don't like the prediction is i don't really like that because they try to compare apple with oranges and it's, it's just it just doesn't work that way there is certain value like you know if you if i just look at amazon from the let's say if i'm looking at stock and i'm, I'm looking at amazon priced uh pe ratio right uh price to earning it's insane the amazon and if i just look at it if i just take amazon out of the uh, keyword and if I just look at the PE I was like no I don't want to invest in this uh, stock because the PE is it, the price to earning is outrageous but when you when you see the whole story behind the Amazon when you see the whole you read more about it you read about the fundamentals you look at the earnings then it gives you it makes you more comfortable and you know that hey there is still a growth potential in this in this investment all right so that same thing you know don't go with the you know prediction analysis that it, it just compares apple with oranges and it sometime you you just you want to stay away from it as much you can so a deep onion is putting this nice base so again you i would go with a smaller position maybe like you know let's say if you have thousand dollar you want to invest maybe go with like two three hundred dollar and then gradually build up the position in the base layer here all right so that that being said this is one of those coin that when it goes out it can it can have really good return like you know this is once they finish their airdrop it, it will be late 2018 i'm expecting very good for um uh deep onion and i will uh, you'll see a lot of news that that will come out of it so this this is another good privacy coin that i i really like um Again, the technical is looking at purely from the technical perspective. It's just creating this lower base right now. A lower base, it can be like you know, it hasn't broken out, but it's trying to. So once this create this lower base, what you can do is like you don't have to go with the full position. You can get go with the smaller position at thirty three hundred, and maybe like you know, gradually um, build on those positions. Um, but yeah, this is this is one of a good coin. Um, Monero obviously is very strong contender a contender in privacy world it's already been like you know um, out there it, it have enough um, coverage media loves it and overall it's just a good coin and especially like breaking this neckline right now as long as it stays over it uh, I think there's a potential to uh, go toward like maybe uh, 400 mark okay 420 to be exact let me look at the um, daily real quick but the only reason i'm a little bit reluctant right now is like i'm seeing this patterns where like it breaks out but it's not going follow through so that's why i'm just a little bit reluctant to like you know give you those uh, breakouts that hey this is going to break out and it's going to go follow through because i'm not seeing that and i didn't see that in omg i did not see that in neo um i did not see that in um you know Verge. i did not see that in um what is the other coin like um uh oh, what is the other one I, I am there's other one i forgot the name but like i'm not just seeing that so it, it it breaks out and then it just like you know dies down that's not very typical that just tells me people are just taking profit people want to just book profit right now as soon as it breaks out or maybe there are two scenarios uh, that could 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 cause might be causing this breakouts one it's like it's breaking out naturally and like people are just like hey i just want to out of i, I just want to take my profit i want to get out of it i i just want to cut my losses because they might you know got in at like much higher prices all right second scenario is it might be related to like you know a pump and dump groups like you know people who are just hyping the coins and like hey let's this is looking great for the breakout all this technical analysts will be probably watching this breakout and let's pump this coin up let's break it out maybe 10 20 percent and then sell it that's scenario number two and i i won't be surprised if this scenario number two is happening right now because i i know there are a lot of pump and dump groups and i i 
I hear a lot of those uh, like crap. I someone just emailed me a few days ago. Hey, um, are you doing the pump and dump groups? Uh, do you um, can uh, can we get on it? And I was like, look, man, I'm <laughs> I, I that is something I I am like so against it. I I don't know how I want to describe it. So that's the scenario number two uh, that you know people might be you know using that. Um, pump and dump group when it comes to this apex try to pump it up and they the way this pump and dump works is like you know you become the part of this channel you become this part of this you know uh, uh, this groups and they're like hey today we are gonna uh, look into Monero it's look coming to an apex it's at trading at 298 so at 12 p.m. today what we're gonna do is all of us gonna start pumping into Monero so I'm gonna put a position for maybe five thousand dollars you're gonna put a position for five everyone start position so what that does it creates the false um, signal in the volume as well as like as, as well as the price action that hey there is a um, organic growth in the coin that is coming and there's like a new investor are coming in but then what happens is this people who come in they pump up the coin and then a lot of other investors who are watching this coin from the technical aspect they're watching it and they're like oh wow there's a breakout there's a breakout let's get on it so they get on it right at this breakout because that's when most people get in right at that breakout but then guess what guess guess what happened comes up people sell it and you know like you know the pump and dump group are like okay let's sell it now at 6 p.m. we're gonna sell everything so they sell everything and it's come back down again so that's scenario number two and I I won't be surprised if that is happening with a lot of the coins a lot of this alt coins um, especially and there's a I, I'm sensing this market rotation right now where like you know first you have like you know the Bitcoin is getting stronger right now but then that strength once it sta gets uh, stable enough then all that money that people have made into Bitcoin wh where they're gonna do it they're not going to, most people in crypto world they are not taking money out and putting into like you know paying for their mortgage or paying for the rent or paying for the car they're not doing that and that's I, I think as a good investor if you're making some money let me please 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 like you know take it out a little bit and like you know even if it's like you know you made uh, you know a few hundred dollars here or there on the trade take it out you know put it in your like uh, pay for your rent pay for your mortgage pay for your car you will feel much better about those things because you know that you did not leave anything on the table yes it can go up further higher and psychologically you will think that oh my god I should have left that money in it could have doubled quadruple but the fact of the matter is you are doing yourself a favor by taking that money out of the market and you're paying your real bills because this money that you have in in the in the crypto world right now is just paper money this this is just uh, like you know it's money on your it's not even paper money it's just digital money that's just sitting on your account right now it's not real until you take it out and pay your bills with it I hope you understand those points and I hope you learn and you get those things so yes it, there is very tempting not to take money out and see that number grow over and over and over and over again I get it but taking some money out and paying your bills never hurts okay you will never go broke with that alright so whenever you have good trade whenever you make you know X amount of money take something out you know you know uh, pay toward your uh, rent pay toward your car or your mortgage or whatever bills you have it, it just it will make you feel a little bit better because you you're not you're not leaving it in your account and it's and that money that you are like paying it you're saving in the, that sense you're saving that money all right um, so just to recap um, Monero I like Monero a lot 
it's it's breaking that head and shoulder pattern uh, it's breaking the neckline right now it's staying over the neckline so there is a trade yes there is a trade to be made here you can go in at around you know um, as long as stay right now it's trading at 337 as long as it stays over 330 mark um, I would be okay with it let's say you know just use this as a gauge yeah I mean that's the simplest way or the second one is like you know um, just adding on the position going with the 50% of the position right now adding another maybe 30% when it comes down to like 280 290 levels because there is a lot of support at those level and I, I completely expect this support level around 280 and 290 to hold up really well so if you look at this support level on Monero at 280 and 290 it's significant support and is like it I mean I would I would definitely load up on this support levels you have 50 day moving average 100 day moving average uh, 9 day moving average then you have the 20 day moving average all in this one uh, 280 to 290 time zone plus you have this trend line you from the top you have this trend line from the bottom so a significant amount of support in this 280 to 290 level so even if you go in right now and if it comes down to those levels um, let me draw this out so yeah so even let's say if you come in uh, you're starting a position maybe 50 percent of the position here and it comes down to this level all right 280 to 2 like uh, 3 uh, 300 levels um, let me just right here okay so 280 to 300 levels you still have a lot of support to add on to okay so and Monero is it's a very good privacy coin that you you do want to hold it for long term um, there is a lot of mining that is going on for Monero there is a lot of um, projects for um, Monero right now so um, it's, it's a very good coin to hold if you don't have a privacy coin already or in, in fact if you just want to make a trade uh, on Monero right now um, so other one uh, we covered is deep onion this is a long-term uh, coin that you want to hold like it might not show you a lot of return in, in like you know may maybe next month or two but um, it will it will start picking up around end of 2018 so you can start building a position in this coin right now because this is a very good coin um, uh, but it, it will just take some time to like um, get out of this consolidation mode uh, and it's creating this nice um, base here is a pretty nice base is I'm happy with this I would be I would I won't mind getting a position here and adding on to it if it comes even lower because I know there's there's a nice solid upside potential for this coin and it's just it's a very new coin it just started like you know uh, not too long ago so it, it, it does have a lot of room to grow and um, it, it will be one of those coins that um, will make you money in longer term okay um what else i i wanted to cover one more thing i'm, I'm forgetting um yeah x monero okay so again monero um against btc the, the last one i covered was monero against uh usd so here i'm seeing this again the this it looks like it's want to break out it looks like it want to break out but again i'm any trade with btc is hard hard to like you know call out that breakouts because that is just coming right back again so if i show you the monero versus um, btc it came down here all right it, it tried to break out consolidation came down try to break out consolidation came down try to break out consolidation break out consolidation break out and trying again one more time so let's see if it can hold um, I mean it just uh, it, I mean it, it's I, I would hold it I would just hold Monero like even if it comes down I will just go with a smaller position and add on to it because support is there so there is a significant support there uh, it just needs some follow through so i would be i would be i'm bullish on monero right now especially the pair against usd that is that is looking very nice um uh, monero to usd us dollar is looking extremely nice um 
Okay, so that's... Oh, yes, this is the one that I want to... <laughs> I like I'm forgetting something. Okay. <sighs> DGD. Okay. DGD. So, um, this was a really good trade. Um, we got into this trade early enough, around 280, 300 mark um, initially. And I mentioned in the earlier videos that it's a hedging coin, right? You want to make sure you're not going with a heavy position, not more than 20%. I wouldn't, uh, it's just a hedging coin. Like maybe when BTC is coming up against the resistance level, then maybe I want to add on some position, additional position here, but not like, you know, not anything more than like 20%. So if you miss this trade and if you think that you, I, I mean, this is, I really think this is one of this good coin that every portfolio should have. Um, as a hedge because every time there is a weakness overnight or the weekend um, you want to have something like this to kind of hedge against the portfolio your crypto portfolio and it's coming to this level right now it will really find a support around 430 level so keep an eye on DGD uh, against USD and the level is going to be around uh, 430 or uh, 4 440 that's the level um, that I'm looking at okay that should be a good support and um, I, I would be adding if you don't have a position then you should really you don't have to go like you know go with a big position maybe like start with a 5% position here and I, I don't want to use stop losses in this coin because it's if you can see those um, risk it's very like up and down up and down up and down so you will easily trigger your stop losses pretty fast see that uh, the long well, legs long I mean you will easily trigger those stop losses w without uh, you know gaining anything out of the trade so this is one of those trade that I would feel comfortable going without stop losses but smaller positions all right not a large position and um, I would wait for it to come to the support level because I don't want to chase the price action into 600 because I know that it's not going to be it's going to right come right back because a lot of the day traders a lot of the investors use this coin as a hedge and it's it's now is becoming more um broad people are no people are finally like getting on getting on the train on this uh, on this trade people are finally finding out about it so you will see more people getting into this coin once the BTC price action you know uh, suffers um, so keep an eye on this coin I, I think every every pullback you get is the opportunity to add position in this coin uh, especially the level around 430 would be the for intermediate um, I would wait until it gets there uh, to add a position. Um, if it doesn't come there, like just wait. You know, you, you don't have to. Don't let the trade come to you. Okay, that's one of the biggest thing as a investor is you have to like really keep that mindset that you don't have to make every trade, and you cannot win on every trade. If you can like you know change your mindset on those things then you will be really 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 well off okay first of all you don't have to make every single trade and second of all you don't have to not every single trade is going to make you money but if you manage those things properly like if the majority of the trade that you will make you it will make money so but this trade dgd is one of those coins that you do want it in your portfolio it is one of those coins that um it's a good hedging coin okay um and it's a limited supply uh, backed by real gold sitting in um, some vault uh, um, so it's the case study is good on this um, there is enough a lot of people are finally like waking up to it a lot of people are finally uh, finding out about it so yeah this is this is one of those good coins so um, when others are selling you buy right and whether when others are buying you sell so when others are buying at around like 700 600 levels right 600 it went all the way up to the 640 levels you sell them you're like all right here take it i don't want it anymore i made my money on it right you you sell it to them at that level when others are selling right now they're coming at you you see that sell you people are putting the sell order right now they're coming um when the btc as soon as the btc start going up people will start selling it so 
if it people start selling it and if it comes to that 400 levels 430 440 420 levels yeah i would start a position i would start adding to my position on this coin um plenty of support around 350 levels as well um that's a 50 day moving average but um my first position i would probably want to start around four uh 420 to 430 levels okay all right so that's all guys um let me know if you have any questions let me know any trades that you're in and you want me to walk you through uh if you have any questions let me know uh, i'm here to help you all right talk to you soon